welcome back to this channel in this video i am going to give you the solutions for week 4 assignment of air pollution and control course friends uh, i hope these solutions are 100% correct if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section uh, before that please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip the video you may miss the content uh, or the solutions which i change in between the video so please watch full video moving on to the first question <coughs> what is the standard unit of standard deviation of the vertical distribution of plume concentration so the correct answer for first question is first option m moving on to the second one which of the following assumptions are associated with the gaussian plume model so they given four statements so the answer is every statement is correct that means 1 2 3 and 4 that is fourth option <coughs> and moving on to the third question so they given an expression so they are asking uh, in which condition we gonna use this function i mean the formula so this is the condition when we use this formula is third third condition that means when phi greater than 20 degrees we use the above condition that is third option and moving on to the fourth question what are the disadvantages of using the gaussian plume model for area sources they given first statement required large amount of input and second one consume large amount of computer time and third one involves complexity so the answer is all the three that means fourth option one two and three fourth option is correct ans answer for fourth question and for third question third option and moving on to the fifth question the buoyancy flux parameter is utilized to calculate the effective height of the stack the formula for the buoyancy flux parameter is given below so they are asking the unit of f so the answer is option three meter power 4 by second cube so third option is the correct answer for fifth question and moving on to the sixth one to calculate the maximum concentration using the gaussian plume model the uh, phi z is given as so the answer for sixth question is second option h by root 2 so the answer is second option h by root 2 and moving on to the seventh question a part of atmosphere that behaves in a coherent way concerning the dispersion of air pollutants is known as so the answer for seventh question is option d i mean fourth option that is air shed a shed is the part of atmosphere that behaves in a coherent way and moving on to the eighth question the available assimilation capacity aac is given as so they are asking the formula uh, how, how do we formulate the aac so we calculate the aac as shown in the first option AAC equals permissible standard minus ambient pollution concentration. So mark first option as correct answer for eighth question. And moving on to the ninth question. The basic equation for emission estimation is. So they are asking the equation form for the calculation of emission estimation. So for ninth question, the answer is third option that is emission equals emission factor into activity data so for ninth question third option is correct answer and moving on to the final question of this assessment that is tenth one the comprehensive stock of all the pollution emitting sources and emissions in a given region with a specific time period is called so what it is called so it is called as emission inventory that is first option so first option is correct for correct answer for 10th question 
so friends these are the solutions for week 4 assignment of air pollution and control course hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section i will try to reply for the valid queries so keep supporting us like this until then goodbye thank you